think you're going to be very excited about tonight's guest. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a real in-house promotion. Uh, every single week I have one of the funniest comedians in the world on this show. This week, no different. I bring to you tonight's full-time guest, the longest standing regular in the history of the show. On this stage, you know him, you love him. The Big Red Machine, William Montgomery, everybody. A huge moment in the history of Kill Tony. As the longest standing regular in the history of the show, joins the desk for the first time in his history. Oh, half a standing ovation for William Montgomery. I hope the cameras pick that up. It is William Lights Out, the Vanilla Gorilla, the Big Red Machine, the Slumdog, Billionaire. The real Santa Claus. It appears as though he has an elf with him, ladies and gentlemen. Firing off candy canes. I'm really excited. I was watching The Price is Right earlier. I have an app called Pluto TV. And I was watching episodes uh, building up to Christmas in 1981. How you doing, William? I'm doing good. There was actually, where I was this past weekend, a woman uh, walked into a walk-in freezer a couple years ago at the hotel and froze to death in the walk-in freezer. And they actually, had, weirdly enough, they had a walk-in freezer experience. While I was at the hotel, it was $1,500. They lock you in the walk-in freezer. I was in there eight hours. It was. Hell yeah, you paid the money for it. 1500 That's right. <laughs> So here's a fun fact for you guys. We're How many of you are excited that William Montgomery's here? Well, that's great. I'm glad you're all very excited about that because that means that I can tell you that tonight's guests were almost Quentin Tarantino and Joe Rogan. So I'm glad that you guys are happy because that's what you almost had. I know you could be disappointed if you wanted to be or you could think of it like, wow, I'm at a show that almost had Quentin Tarantino on it. So think of it like a positive thing. And for the first time in the show's history, <laughs> to pay homage to literally <laughs> my, one of my top two favorite artists of all time, I will be doing the Quentin Tarantino jokes that I would have done if he was here. So you'll, you'll notice throughout the show, like, oh, that's a weird reference. You have to picture William is Quentin Tarantino. It's going to be fun. So we're, we're going to be doing that throughout the show. You'll notice when it happens, because it's going to be very awkward. Uh, I was able to get it right in my schedule to be here tonight. Very excited to be here tonight. Absolutely. We've been sipping on uh, Canteen and Cantina, but you're sober now. You are addicted to raisin bread. Yeah, I'm just eating the shit out of uh, raisin bread now. I've had uh, two loaves since uh, Sunday. There you go. Today's Monday, so you can guess. Yeah, do the math on that one. I'm eating a shit ton of that fucking bread. William Montgomery who took his first jet ride like a nervous Nelly this, uh, this weekend in Nashville, Tennessee. Got to go home and do amazing shows at your home club, Nashville Zanies, with special guest pop-ins by Theo Vaughn. And your parents were in-house, the people that made you. Your father put his penis in your mom. Yeah, I was, having, I was having a wonderful time at all the shows until Saturday hit when my parents were there, and then Tony starts graphically explaining them fucking how they made me. It was horrifying. I was horrifying. I was, I, was about, <laughs> I was talking about how his father put his penis inside of his mother's wet, warm vagina and moved it back and forth repeatedly. Until <laughs> you did that on stage? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I looked I was looking at his parents right in the eyes while I was doing it. I had dinner with them before. I'm allowed to do shit like that. They were laughing, the crowd was laughing. The only person not laughing pussy Yeah, I wasn't pants laughing. over here. <laughs> All right. Well. <laughs> Look at this cheer. How about a hand for Let's give it up give it up for my dwarf, please the real-life Santa Claus, ladies and gentlemen. For the first time ever, Santa, welcome to the show. It is so nice to be here. Yeah, give a round of applause for my dwarf. He doesn't always come with me when I come, come visit places. You mean your elf? Is that I, what you call him, a dwarf? No, no, we call him dwarves <laughs> up in the North Pole. So. With a V. In case y'all were wondering. Yeah, he's like 200 years old. His name is Oscar. <laughs> That's... 
That guy's 200? He's 200 years old. Wow. His name is Oscar. He's really sweet. So really glad he could make it. I love it. Uh, Santa Claus, <laughs> welcome to the show. Uh, we're pumped to have you. You know how this works. Uh, you're a fan of the show. I'm a big fan of the show. So yes, I'm... Uh, <laughs> Really excited to be here. Oscar is also a big fan of the show. He is so excited. It's just hard to hear his fucking little ass when he's talking in the toy factory. I have to lean over. It's just hard to hear his voice. He is addicted to raisin bread. He's three months sober. He was a heavy drinker, and now he's heavy raisin bread. We're going to have fun tonight. How's your bathrooms with that much raisin bread? Like, is, How's my what? In your bathrooms. Is it just coming like just raisins? Is it, is it thick? That's sweet. You called it my bathroom. So <laughs> All right. So what did we not find out about you? Did you think about that interview last week and think about some stuff that we could have talked about? Uh, I, dude, it was a fucking blur, man. I was nervous as shit. I, I made the mistake of looking Ron White in the eyes. Yeah, you don't do that, dude. <laughs> Bad move. Right. Yeah. Uh, you have any questions for Quentin Tarantino? Dude, honestly. first off, don't look me in the fucking eyes either. Yeah. Thank you. My God. You're a tourist on a boat. I'm the captain here, all right? Right? I'm the captain now? Yeah, that's one of my best films, actually. <laughs> all right. Oh. Why are you yeah. dressed like Is this your new look? Yeah, you go on a lot of security. stages like this, or is this a one-night-only thing? What's going on? No, I just like Warzone and, uh, you know, playing video games. So I was like, you know, bulletproof vests are cool, so I bought one. <laughs> I got a bulletproof mask, mask too. William, so. what do you think about this guy? I think you better keep playing fucking video games because that was a fucking nightmare. <laughs> the fuck did I just witness? Is that scared you have a fucking gun somewhere or something? Oh, man. Whoa. <laughs> Why do I feel like you're not wearing any p underwear underneath that? <laughs> That's just curiosity, guys. I'm just saying. I can show you if you want. No? That was gay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, oh, show us, show us. <laughs> I'm kidding, bitch! Uh, William wants to see your toadstool there. <laughs> Maybe perhaps, perhaps an embarrassing sexual experience. Perhaps you have a special skill or talent. Really, anything at all. At I've had point. somebody shit on me during sex. Oh, okay. Yeah. Was it on purpose or was it an accident? It was an accident. Okay, and yeah. what position was uh, he or she in? <laughs> She was in a uh, missionary, and it was we were. Well, how did she poop on you? If we you were, were performing in... anal, and oh. we didn't. You got to prepare for that. Right, know? right. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah! Missionary anal. Missionary anal yeah, position. Yeah. That is risky business. Weird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is. That's why you have to eat your Kellogg's All Brand Buds yeah. before <laughs> anal. That is true, and yeah, you have to make yeah. sure you have dude wipes right next yeah. to the bed. Right next to. <laughs> Keep your yeah. dude wipes handy. What do you want for Christmas this year, Mario? $5,000. I need $5,000. Okay, we'll that? work on it. All right, cool. Okay. My, my Venmo is... Oh, they yeah. have like a thick country accent on them? Cajun accent, my grandparents. My parents don't really have much of an accent, but my grandparents have a Cajun accent. Okay. Mostly everybody in that area is kind of influenced by Louisiana. Yeah. Were you uh, ridiculed a lot because they, they was all white people and you're the only redhead? Yeah, dude, I really was. I really was. I was the only redhead. I have a twin brother, too, who looks nothing like me. Well, I don't know if you know this, but uh, Quentin Tarantino also has Quentin red hair. Quentin Tarantino, so. yeah. William looks like my reflection in a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Very good, Christian Copeland. That's very good. Very good. That is absolutely right. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> the fuck does that mean? I don't even get that. I don't even get Stop it. Stop acting like you don't use spoons quite frequently, okay? <laughs> Jesus <Sorry>. Christ. <laughs> You don't oh need a spoon God. when you have a trough, right, William? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I didn't realize if that was like a heroin joke or just an eating too much joke. But <laughs> no, it sounds it's like a reflection a... joke. <laughs> it's a, a reflection because you're wider and, and, and not as pretty. You're okay, I get it now. Some things are racist, and some things just sound racist. Like Nicaragua. If you're a white person going to Nicaragua with eight black guys, at the very least, you're going to be like, boy, it is great to be here in this Central American country. 
Well, these Central Americans are pretty lazy, huh? <laughs> I'll tell you. Hell yeah. You, Santa, what do you think about Mike Ivey? You know this uh, young man? I was thinking I have been to Nicaragua with eight black guys before. <laughs> I go down there often. I believe it. What believe do you want it. for Christmas this year? Um, the only thing I want for Christmas is love. Well, I don't think we can fucking help you with that. I mean, what do you want? <laughs> Holy shit. Like a Ferrari or something? I don't no, know. No, you okay. got to name like a product, like something Santa could make at his workshop. Not a fucking Ferrari, dude. His five-year anniversary of being a member of the show here on Kill Tony. The only current living member of the Kill Tony Hall of Fame. It's been five, it's somehow been five years. I remember right when I started doing it, I was thinking I'll be able to make it six months, and now it's five years. Red Band and I hate one another more than ever before. I can't even look at his stupid fucking fat ass. You look fat as fuck okay, up in the Okay, all right. Room. You be nice to Red Band. He's a sweet boy. How could you ever be mean to Red Band? We don't do that. <laughs> um, William Montgomery, what do you think about Matthew Maloney? I remember like four years ago, we got drunk as shit at some show outside of Los Angeles one time. That's do you remember right. that? Yes, sir. That was fun. Yeah. Why'd you just say? Uh, why'd you just say yes, sir? Because I respect you. Well, thank you a lot. Because I swear to God, if you didn't just fucking yes, sir, me, I was about to fucking lose it up here. <laughs> I swear to God, ever since fucking Tony started saying the sex stuff, and my sweet parents were in the fucking room, it's like a screw was fucking knocked loose. So I'm glad you just said yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> William is a wildfire here tonight. He does have a gun and a rope on him. I got one reason. on me right now! Oh, boy. He's wild. This is your first time doing stand-up. What made you want to start now? Uh, big fan of the show. I write all the time and uh, just figured I'd give it a go, see if it worked. What's Clearly some... didn't. Yeah. yeah. No, I wouldn't say that. Oh, thanks, William. I, I really liked it, so. William is my favorite comedian in all the right, entire world. All right, shut the fuck <laughs> up, dude. Jesus Christ. I paid him to say that. <laughs> this fucking guy. All right. Uh, like I've just been exploring the city and just seeing what it has and different food and drives and stuff like that. Just exploring around, seeing what it has to offer, you know? Have you seen the bats yet? I, haven't, I have seen the bats. I have. Have you eaten any? Santa? Pretty cool. Yeah. Well, uh, we do in our igloo, um, sometimes with the dwarves. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love it. All right, Justin. Well, anything else for Justin, guys? What do you guys have anything else for this little thing? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just so disappointed in me. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody get him off the stage. Yeah, All right. Somebody get him off the stage. Hans, kick him in the ass. Somebody get him off the stage. <laughs> So you know, the, you guys know the slingshot ride where it's like a ride where you get shot up into, and they always record the people like passing out and stuff. Yeah, yeah. There's a whole porn category of tits that have fallen out of the slingshot ride, oh, and it's always great yeah, because they're yeah. there with their kids, and their kids have no idea their mom's tits are flopping all around. It's Jesus. Should be illegal, Christ. but it's not because they can't see each other. Oh my God. God, what is going on, Red Band? You <laughs> no, have to no, fucking no. Is that stop. A specific, is that a specific tattoo of someone's tits? Yeah. Who's that person? Uh, okay. <laughs> you don't look like the stoner idiot that you are. It's interesting. <laughs> I'm on unemployment right now. <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah. The carpet doesn't match the fucking drapes with you or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. It does with me. <laughs> oh, shit. Fuck yeah. The fire hydrant. Look out. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, Fast and Furious 7 after Whoa. Pat Paul Walker passed the dead for his brothers. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's depressing. So wait a second. So Paul Walker dies, his brothers stand in, and you're the stand-in for, for, for the stand-in. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Yeah, man. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. William famously hates Paul Walker. Oh, yeah. I know that bit. Oh, please, not now. Paul <laughs> Walker more like Paul Crasher. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I respect you a lot less after knowing you oh. stood in for that fucking piece of shit. <laughs> God! I should have brought that up. I forgot yeah, about that. Yeah, you shouldn't day. have. <laughs> Paul Walker, a big trigger word for, uh, for yeah, Don't bring him up again. <laughs>
uh, criteria for pretty much anyone I'm going to hang out with. Do you take vitamins? Are you asking me if I take no, vitamins? I, I know you take vitamins. Clearly. Maybe, maybe I don't. You do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, who are you asking, motherfucker? Were you asking me, you motherfucker? piece you, of shit? what are you shit? on? Huh? <laughs> I could recommend some vitamins if... You know. Cool, name one. Uh, D3, that's very important. He just tried um, the fuck out of you. He just tried the fuck out of you. I was disrespectful. Did you just fucking try me right now, you piece of shit? I thought you were fucking trying me. And at the very beginning of your set, you're like, oh, everybody knows I love old bitches. I was thinking, I don't fucking know that dumbass. I'm so everybody knows that I like older women. And uh, I just went on a date with a 65-year-old woman. I'm sure <laughs> nobody fucking knows you like older women. <laughs> And I was wondering, though, how are you doing? Are you, like, hitting it from the back? Or what are you doing with these bitches, dude? Are the lights on? Are the lights off? Are there candles going? What are you doing? Get a little fucking Werther's Original, put it in her asshole. Absolutely. What do you want for There's Christmas this year? I want a... You getting this, Joe? PlayStation 5. Okay, we'll get you a PlayStation 5. Is we'll get you for? a fucking PlayStation 5. What's your address again? No, don't don't. I'm give kidding. Out your no, I. I w and I was kid. I was totally kidding. We'll get you a PS5. Is that you don't have one? You really want one? I don't have a. I, yeah. I, be, okay. I don't. I, I have a PlayStation 4 that's broken. That's bullshit. Who wants to buy this guy a PlayStation <laughs> 5 tonight? Oh, a lot of people. Wait, sorry. It's. It's like it's like really hard, it, like almost impossible to get a PlayStation oh, Five. It's, uh, nah, how about we do another spot guaranteed here next Monday? We'll do one more of you since you're since he's visiting from Canada yes. and he doesn't get to sign up every week like those bozos back there. There he goes, Jared Nathan, every Woo. living his little dreams out here. Mind you, there are no uh, there are no shows. Oh wow, he gave him a joke book. Look at that. I love it. I'd love to have you on the Secret Show Thursday. Man. Oh, Whoa, shit. Well, thank look you. at that. Right. <laughs> Unbelievable. Thanks, Here you go. Take a joke, Buck. Hey. Arash Tajiri, everybody. Very exciting. Just got a real stand up gig out of it. William, how do you feel about that guy? I know you're not big on. Um... <laughs> I'm big on what? <laughs> I moved to the United States when I was uh, 2001, which is. Yeah. Uh, that's, uh, didn't finish the joke. All right, that's just, uh, yeah, great time to come to the United States. Great time. I moved to Utah in 2001. Good decision. Uh, yeah, we came here in April, and I was like, this is the greatest country I've ever seen. Then a few months later, it's like, all right, I'm going to have a bad childhood, actually. This is going to be rough. On immigrants. No, I'm kidding. Not, yeah, historically, I'm not. I think he could have just stopped us at the beginning with the, uh... Uh, I moved here in 2001. That was the funniest part. That's true. It all went hilarious. downhill from there. William Lights Out Montgomery. Thoughts on Joe Smith? I loved it, Joe, but only one fucking person can use a note card on stage, you piece of shit. I've been waiting uh, ever since Gwyneth Paltrow dropped her cunt candle. <laughs> I've been waiting for Taylor Swift to drop a candle that smells like the space between her pussy and asshole. <laughs> it seems like something the uppity bitch would do. <laughs> I'm aware. I can no. fucking do that. It to be a trademark of William yeah. Montgomery. I love it. Guys, you guys know Genevieve? What'd you think of the minute? Yeah, Genevieve, I loved your set, but that's actually my Nigeria joke. Uh, isn't it uh, obvious that white people named it Nigeria? <laughs> But I don't think they pronounced it like that. I think they walked up in there and was like, it's a bunch of niggas in here. <laughs> it's a niggery in this bitch. Hey, <laughs> everywhere. I've said that one a bunch. I think you know that's my joke, so. Yeah. I was a little horrified when I heard it come out of your mouth. <laughs> yeah. This doesn't look like a real thing, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Uh, make some noise for cell phone, everybody. Let's see what happens here. This should be wild, ladies and gentlemen. Make some noise for cell phone, everybody. Kill Tony! 
Motherfucking kill Tony. Thank you all so much for, this is amazing. Look at me. Woof. <laughs> Didn't think I'd make it. Um, I kind of look like a cholo that got kidnapped and had to fuck my way out of a clown car. <laughs> Now, yeah. <laughs> let's take an adventure here and talk about your, because I do it with everybody, let's talk about your sex life for a okay. second, Selma. Because I can't even picture what it would take to make someone like you satisfied in the bedroom. <laughs> Can you describe to us what you're into? Uh, mostly William Montgomery's parents. Yeah. Oh! I, I imagine them, mostly. So you like real wholesome people. Yeah, just... And you yeah. just want to come in and wreck their lives. Why I'm here. <laughs> I love it. So you mostly, William. First of all, what do you think about cell phone wanting to fuck your parents? I'm actually into that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> seriously, I'm not even gonna lie. Ever since you told that fucking story on Saturday, I was honestly a little turned on yeah. when you were. But no, I mean, if we really could make this work out, would you really be down? Would you yeah, really? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Let's, let's do it on live right now, whenever. Uh, okay, <laughs> we're, we're, we're in the process. We have sent the jet to Memphis, Tennessee. We are picking up the Montgomery's. Join back in two hours. Okay. Cole, that thing we were describing about uh, when you couldn't really hear the girl and you were just kind of agreeing with what she said, I, I'll be honest with you, I thought about that during your whole fucking set tonight. I was kind of <laughs> hearing things going on, but I don't know. I'm just kind of in a rotten mood right now, so sorry. It's not your fault. But Why are you in a rotten yeah. mood? The Kellogg's all brand buds ran out earlier, Tony, and I couldn't even eat any earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So I'm in a real rotten mood, so sorry to take it out on your fucking ass, but I didn't really hear any of it. It's You're okay, it's okay. Fucking fiber withdrawals right now, huh? <laughs> yeah. Wow. What are you gonna do about it? Probably get it. Oh, okay. Ah. <laughs> gonna All right, there he goes. Have... Cole Castle, everybody. Here's a have... little You people would not believe it. It is a desolate wasteland. What I do right now is illegal. I tell outlawed jokes on outlawed mics. In Canada, because it's so locked up. You have to like do illegal mics just to do comedy out there. Yeah, man. Wow. Performing in front of a bunch of snowmen. <laughs> You're in Calgary, right? The tundra. Yeah, I travel around though, and yeah. I've been doing a lot of uh, bachelor parties and birthdays and private shows at speakeasies. Uh -huh. you get around a lot, you do a lot of hitchhiking? No way, Daddy, I'm a fucking road warrior. Hell yeah. William, what do you Don't, think? I'm just so curious, are you being serious or is this a character? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure this one out. William, have is you this not real? met? Is this real? Have you not met? No, we've never met. I can't tell. I, I hope it's real. I just can't tell. It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Doesn't look it's like ridiculous. a character. Oh. He's not smiling. Look at him. This is the is real Is he going to roast me now? No, he's going to roast me now, <laughs> oh, no. William. You're uh -oh. fucked. What would, <laughs> oh, no. what would you say to William if you were going to roast him? Well, what I'd say is William takes horrible care of himself. <laughs> <laughs> That was a little on the oh nose. Do we, oh, have, man. do we have another championship belt we can give this man right now? Does anybody have an extra championship belt? <laughs> William, do you, have, do you have a response to this roast uh, that you uh, sorry, Yeah, I, William, William, try to get him back. Sorry, I wasn't finished. Oh. <laughs> wow, that was great. You could tell that he doesn't take care of himself by looking at his fingernails. There's enough DNA under there to clone a junior high school. Oh, my goodness. I don't understand that. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? It means you're a dirty little What's boy. What's under my fingernails? All right, William, what do you have in, as Yeah, response? William, William, get him back. Roast, ro no, non-roast champion. This is a guy that famously has never roasted anything other than his breakfast potatoes. <laughs> William Montgomery is going to roast Sam Walker back. Right? You look like a painter that just got laid off. <laughs> Oh, shit. I like this. 
You know, this is sort of more, this is more fun than me and David Lucas going yeah. back and forth. This is like <laughs> it's adorable. It's like junior varsity roast battle. <laughs> The regulars give you each a piece of advice on how to close with women better. Hans, you go first, and we're going to work our way down. Um, if you want to close with women, I would say maybe strike up an accent. Your, your name is Eogan, it's pronounced Owens, you know, so use that. Maybe go, go with that Irish. Hey! Cam, what's your advice to close for Owen Gallivan? You know what I'm saying? You got to look at the bitch on her soul. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> white. How you doing, white lady? You good? You want to rock? So there you go. You gotta try an accent, look at a bitch on her soul. <laughs> Give her a rock, and here baby. Here is your third piece of closing advice from the great William Montgomery, the only one in a truly stable, healthy relationship. And here he goes. So I would first off start going to grocery stores around the same time of <laughs> evening, every evening. You're gonna start seeing some of the same people. You're gonna start being able to notice what they get, what kind of cereals, what kind of meats, whatever. <laughs> A couple months in, you end up being at the meat department at the same time <laughs> as the chick, and then you just start talking, and then when you are kind of in line with her, you end up in line. You get, I found these pills online that you kind of, you crush up the pill, you blow the powder in your, so you're going to have to act like you're sneezing at the woman, and then she's going to get this powder in her, and then once she gets the powder in her, you can pretty much, she's like a fucking robot, dude. You could... <laughs> fucking get her ass in the trunk, whatever you're feeling. I mean, if you're feeling kind of angry or whatever, get their fucking stupid ass in the trunk. If you're feeling nice, maybe get them up in a seatbelt, but... So go to the grocery store more, is all. That sounds like it would work every time. <laughs> what was your favorite thing about him? Um, I don't know. He was actually smart and new movies and shit like that. I, I, I date a lot of stupid men, and he was smart. Oh, so that was wow. cool. That he was enjoyable. He knew movies. Really? Yeah. He knew, he knew movies, huh? Well, yeah, he, he knew movies. I'm actually a movie director. <laughs> I've made a bunch of movies. I wasn't going to tell y'all he was also bald, but William... What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> wow. My goodness. God damn. Damn. Audrey Scott, anything else we should know about you? Any fun facts about Audrey? You ever oh. squirt? Don't do things like some... that, Red Band. You can't do that. You can do anything you want, but you can't do that. It's weird, okay. and it's not a big enough laugh All to right. get away with it. I was talking it. to William. I wasn't going to say this, but I was also in a threesome, but with two lesbians, and they were my bosses. Looks like Tony oh, yeah. was right. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't squirt. I made the other one squirt. Ha wow. <laughs> my goodness Did gracious. you drink it up like a good girl? No. Red band. Red band. Sound effects only from this point out. She's like, I control. told you it wasn't pissed. That's what happens. This guy drinks Red Bull vodka and then switches to fucking Diet Coke and whiskey. Jesus Christ. So the Red Bull gives him the energy to say the dumb shit the whiskey's <laughs> telling him to say. It's an unbelievable concoction. Oh, my I, What God. are you talking about? I'm drinking a delicious crown and Diet Coke. All right. Anyway, uh... Fill my heart with soul. All right, I'm going to stop you. I'm going to stop you right there. That was great. That was great. That was great. Yeah. I noticed that when you sing, you sing American as well. Yeah, otherwise they can't understand me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you, maybe you should talk like Frank Sinatra then. Maybe that should be your voice. I, don't, I have no idea what he sounds like in a normal speaking voice. Okay. Sing some R. Kelly. Sing some yeah. R. Kelly. Yeah. That, and you want to impress me saying some Mark Kelly. I have no idea what you're saying. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did he just say, David? Yeah, what the fuck did that piece of shit just say, <laughs> David? <laughs> Seriously, I don't know if I heard that correctly. What did you, you just go. fucking bounce, say? Bounce, bounce, bounce. Say it. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Bounce, yeah. bounce, bounce, bounce. Here you go. Once I get you out the clothes, private... 
on the floor. Just make it on the kitchen. Am I speaking it right? Am I saying it right? Yeah, yeah. Give me that two, two. Give me that beep, beep. Give me that. Yeah, Do I piss on them now? Bounce it on Twitter. All right, all right, all right. Right off the top of your head, as fast as you can, name your top five black friends' names. Go. Uh, Springer. Kevin. Kevin sounds white. Let's try again. Um, We've only got Springer so far. <laughs> five. We're looking for five black Cam friends. Cam kind of. Oh, no, no, you no, no, you're not allowed to use Cam. <laughs> no, you just met him. You've been up here for seven minutes. Well, you cannot chose, count Cam. Hold on. You're at one. We have Stringer. Take note that fuck. he sounds black, but cannot Bro. name oh, five fuck. black friends, everybody. We're at one. Zero. We are holding strong no, at zero. I just can't think right now. Hold on, hold on. Springer is gone. Cam is my friend. <laughs> Yeah, bro, I got no black friends, dude. I guess, dude, I fuck. Because that's a thing. I just, when white people sound black and they're not really like really, 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 really from black culture, it's one of the most annoying things for people that were born and raised in all black neighborhoods. Do I sound black? I talk like this. Anyway, why aren't you and Springer friends anymore? That nigga was made up. Springer? Springer is not a real fucking person. Yeah. Well, they're good at sprinting. Uh, Springer. <laughs> he's a pussy. He's with Sprint and Nigger together. He was like, that's, that's a name. That's a name. Yeah. Sprint and Nigger. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's a name. I got that. <laughs> hey, yo. I be sounding black up here with my geology. Shit. Don't you hate it when white people sound black? Yeah, I wouldn't even uh, imagine being a comedian and talking in a black voice ever. No, Tony, I swear to God, I was on fucking YouTube the other day, and I just typed in my name, and I see some fucking video that says, William Montgomery doing black voice number six. <laughs> I've been and I have a fucking weird... It's a who, so whoever's doing that, you better stop. Holy shit. <laughs> Can you give us an example of like what one of the things said? I looked at it for a second and I clicked off. I was horrified. I was like, hold on, is this a bad? What's going on here? I couldn't even. Oh, yeah, there is a compiler. <laughs> a bunch of them. Oh, my God, and they put them in blackface. Yes, face. and I'm in blackface. Oh, face, my God. Yes. So I was very excited oh my God. to hear about and, that. Oh, my God, and these compilations are so long. Holy <laughs> shit. 11 and a half minutes, number two is. A lights out. Montgomery. Oh, shit. Oh, it's not edited very tight at all. Wow. Okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're going to get flagged by YouTube for playing our own YouTube video on our YouTube show. He's going to flag us. This guy. Okay, what do you guys think about Milky? We're going to get him out of here quickly here. Milky, your diabetes line, even though it got zero laughter, I think was my line of the night thus far because the first part had nothing really to do with it. It was so confusing to me. I have been called Milky over 20 years, longer than my government name. Um, people who use my government name, it kind of throws me off. I used to be called things like uh, Fat Boy, Chubbs, Pillsbury, Doughboy. Uh, that's all behind me now because of diabetes. <laughs> it made me laugh really hard. So congratulations, Ducky. It Thank was you. so fucking confusing. I did stutter over it. You might want to rewrite that. We want to see type two of that yeah, type I, of joke. I, I, okay. I messed it up. <laughs> what do you do for work, Swiggy? What? I work at Terry Black's. Whoa! Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing at Terry Black? I work dude? cashier. They want me to be like a meat cutter. So they got every now and then I'll cut meat and stuff. But mostly I've just been doing cashiering. But eventually I'll be doing that. Um, wow. How long it. have you worked there? Uh, since like May when I moved down here. How I moved did you from get Philly. a job? You just walked in, applied. Fuck you, yeah, dude. Yo, fuck yeah. Yeah, I walked in there and applied. Got that shit, man. It was just gnarly. Just through the application. Yeah, and, like, dude. Swiggy. Yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. I told him I'm going to open up my own uh, Swiggy Whites. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> open up the Swiggy Whites. I thought it'd be funny. You know? got Terry Black, so Swiggy Whites. So got it. <laughs> <laughs> God, that laugh. That laugh is something else. <laughs> 
Swiggy, you're so goddamn charismatic. We've had so many fucking glasses of water on this show tonight. I forgot humans could be this alive as you are right now. <laughs> Chase Tucker. Appreciate it. There he goes, everybody. Chase Tucker, stop shaking people's hands. Stop shaking their hands, guys. Ignore them. <laughs> For the love of God. Cam? Cam? You'll have to stop. You're getting us in trouble. You'll have to fucking stop. Oh, my God. <laughs> Please, please! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know where Santa Claus went, but we do have one last regular on this show, believe it or not. He is the longest standing regular in the history of the show, here with yet another brand new minute. This is the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery, everybody. Oh my goodness, it really is him. Oh shit. It really is the great William Montgomery, everybody. God, this is uncomfortable. <laughs> Beasts of No Nation makes Hotel Rwanda look like cool runnings. Beasts of No Nation makes the last king of Scotland look like Operation Dumbo Drop. Beasts of No Nation makes Blood Diamond look like Big Mama's House 2. Do y'all not know what that fucking movie is? That would have been so much better. If the South had had access to blockchain technology, would the war have gone differently? Work with me here. 3D NFTs, but they're slaves. That's the best joke I've come up with in a long time, and it got that fucking... It got that kind of fucking reaction. This was out of my control! That's an impression of my buddy who got caught having sex with a kiosk at Disney World. More like Neil Old. That's all I got. William Montgomery, I absolutely like Neil love Young. The balls on this man. Like Neil Young. I don't know why that one didn't work out either. Wow, very unorthodox, taking chances that nobody else <laughs> takes. Uh, what the fuck was that movie you were talking Beast about? Beast of No Nation. I believe this is, was like a Netflix original film that came out about three or four years ago. It Am did. I correct? Did it you did. randomly see a movie and then assume that everyone also watched that movie at the same time? I saw it this past week. A uh, very, very, very random movie. I was donation. thinking that was going to be a lot more popular. Yeah, I was thinking after the first one it was going to be uproarious laughter. When it was not, I was a little horrified because I had two more. <laughs> God, I was like, holy shit, there's two more of these fucking jokes. <laughs> these idiots aren't laughing at this shit. But well, it sounds like I made a mistake tonight. <laughs> I apologize. I made a pretty bad mistake with the order of my jokes tonight. I'm sorry for that. Oh, when you put it like that, it's just priceless. You, you make a lot that. of mistakes in your life, I've noticed. Red band. What the this fuck a, does that mean, you dumbass? a weird dumbass. running joke that they try What does to that mean, you dumbass? I mean, every week you it's make okay. a mistake. You ever think, like, stop doing that? It's Shut okay. the fuck up. I'm not making my fucking mistakes every week. Why are you saying that? I have a lot of pressure on myself right now. I don't need this shit talk from you. Well, I'm putting William. a bunch of pressure on myself right now, and then you've got to fuck it up. William, ignore him. What, what's the extra pressure that you put on yourself this week? Uh, it was extra pressure to beat San Andreas. I beat it yesterday. Wow. After 42 hours of gameplay. Did you really? Wow. 42 hours of gameplay. Yeah. I was taking over Las Vegas. Wow. It was so exciting. I was chopping off people's fucking heads. I was working out with my character. I got him so buff. He was so strong. He had tattoos all over the place. He was hardcore. You know that if you did that in real life, you would feel better? <laughs> do you think so? <laughs> do you think so? How often do you work out, William? Ever? I don't ever. I started doing it a little bit some months ago, and then I, uh, I stopped. I got addicted to gaming. I started... I started... Oh, man. It has been a slippery slope. I just started playing these fucking video games on my PS4, and now I pretty much can't fucking stop. What, what game is next? Halo 4? Halo 4? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. 
Thank Halo you. 4? Thank you, Will. God, you sound like a dumbass. I'm on your side in this one. Deez is requesting the NFT joke. Did you do it? Do Did you NF- like it? Will you do it again? Did you like it? Do you have it? I'm is it this paper. somewhere? Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, no, this one's really good. I don't know why everyone didn't laugh at it. If the South had had access to blockchain technology, would the war have gone differently? Work with me here. 3D NFTs, but they're slaves. <laughs> See, nobody's laughing. I don't you're looking that. at me weird, know. and you're African American. I feel like you were. Oh He's damn! He, oh, no. it. he requested it, so it can't be. It technically can't be racist if he requested it. I just got it. set up. I didn't even see it coming. I thought you really liked that joke. You just set my ass up. Oh, God. Uh, William, you actually take KC Rocket on the road with you, and uh, he features for you. I believe you guys just did seven shows in Chicago. We did. Yeah, no, Casey's wonderful. Casey honestly is, in my opinion, he's without a doubt the funniest person I've met while in Austin. I absolutely love Casey. There were... There's a, always a couple of times, but I remember in San Diego, I was back in the fucking green room, probably way too high, about to go on, and I'm hearing Casey just destroy out there, and I'm thinking, how the fuck am I going to follow this guy? <laughs> and I wasn't able to. It turned into a disaster. I left the stage really early. Everybody's like, hold on, we paid money for this shit. I was on stage like five minutes. So. But wonderful job, Casey. It's wonderful to always see you. What do you have in your pockets? Anything exciting? I feel like you have one of those like, like little weed. hands that you put on your fingertip. A, no, no. a weed vape pen. Yeah. Look at that. It's hot. Absolutely, pal. Go for it. We're all basically in a play right now, so it's okay. Oh shit. William taking a hit from the little red machine. Oh what shit. What the fuck was that? That tastes weird. <laughs> you don't know. DMT, up. DMT, <laughs> DMT William. <laughs> nah, there's no DMT in it. Nah, it's DMT. But they do what I got it from at us. Swiggy, how loud can this place get for one of my favorite guests of all time, William Montgomery, everybody? <laughs> that guy gets it right over there. That guy standing up fucking gets it. William Montgomery, everybody? Stop. Montgomery show on YouTube. I do it with Casey. Also, my cameo as always. Please check him out on Cameo. The new spokesman for Dude Wipes, William Montgomery. 